Mavericks tonight at American Airlines Center. They had a win over the Los Angeles Lakers on Tuesday night, and tonight Dallas takes on the Minnesota Timberwolves. And what makes this game big tonight? As you see, Luka Doncic getting ready to take the floor. Minnesota is first, and the Mavericks are seeded in for Slovenia. Number 77, One of the two games he played, he only played four minutes against Memphis. Dallas controls the opening tip, and off we go. The ninth most in the league this year. This is Luka with eight to shoot. Luka coming off another 30-plus point effort. He had 33. A graphic between him and Rudy Gobert, yeah. With the lobs, and that's something that really surprised me as far as throwing lobs. Nice finish by Luka, headed to the free throw line for a chance for three. Six boards. And Dallas is 127-125 victory going for Gobert, and it's broken up by Dallas, and the Mavericks run the floor. Derek Lively, oh, great pass by Luka and a slant. And get that alley-oop, that's what you saw there. And Derek Lively defending, forced Dallas to get the ball back, and Luka scores inside. 10-2 start. Great start for Dallas tonight in front by eight, not even three minutes into the game. Yes, sir, three-pointer for Luka. He's locked in. He's and locked in. Yes, he is. His version of rim protection. And here is Dallas out in transition. Now Luka drifting back. And step back. Jack with a foul. And one. How many is that, Devin? That's two. In the NBA coming in, he's going to get up for that as well. It is a 12-point. Edwards has started out the game making just one of his first four attempts. Luka, 54 points created per game. Luka with a drive here out of the timeout. Looking to create points on the assist, the rebound. For the Mavericks who come into tonight having won four straight for the first time since the opening four games of this season. Mavs this year, seven and four at home. And we saw a guy like that here with Marquis Daniels. Yes, that's exactly right. Way back in the day. Easy. And the ball is out of bounds here. And a technical foul was just assessed as well, I believe. Well, there's a foul by Alexander Walker. Uh, yeah, definitely. And shouldn't, for lack of a better word, that had occurred during the course of the game between he and Vince Williams Jr. I don't know why one was assessed in 20 seconds. Much better improved three-point shooting for the Timberwolves across the board. Marquise Morris just came into the game for Dallas a moment ago. Here's Luka scoring again. First quarter for Luka now at 16 points. Reed just knocked down his second three of the game. There's a trap on Luka. Then Gobert leaves him, and Luka shoots and hits a three again. Morris can send Reed to the line. Luka is back in the game. And ball did a screen with Exum. Luka drives, finds Hardy. Ready to let a rip for team fouls now in the second quarter. Luka on the drive against McDaniels inside. And Luka will bring the ball up the floor for the Mavs. Who are playing Minnesota for the first of two times here in December. Nice finish by Lively. Just a moment ago, we saw Luka connect with Derek Lively on a lob here, and it's a heck of a finish. Absolutely keying on him or defense. Ball into Hardaway. Inside, Lively. I got it to fall. Luka fouled and his bench playing a real factor in this game. Reed with 16 to kill out. It smells like a game. And against Dallas at Target Center, Reed had 27 points and 13 rebounds in that game. Reed has 19 to 9 straight games overall of 30 plus as Lucas on the line. Confident, I can sense uh, yeah, from yeah, that's about 30. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> games, including their loss earlier this week against New Orleans. Drive finish. Luca got the two for one. Head coach of the Timberwolves, Chris Finch. He's going to be upset, though, about those 11 turnovers. And Dallas looking to go back in front, and they do. Free throw coming here for Luca, who had 26 in the first half. It is the fifth. I think what I like the most about your pregame comments to Kid was when you gave him a scouting report. Yeah. Dante Exum, what's the break? Going downhill off yeah. that screen at the wing. Stop it, Bob three. No good for Luca. Of the high school football state championship games, the UIL state championship games at AT&T Stadium. Working over the defense, here's Luca. Yes, but not because of his scoring. I think 
more for his trust in his teammates and, and the way he's used 44 minutes a game. He's able just to pick these defenses apart while still having this 30-point streak. And long rebound, Luka's got it. Five minutes gone by third quarter of the Mavericks lead. Luka, fantastic. Get up to second in the NBA and charges drawn. Tried to draw one there, scooped it out, no good for Luka. We talked about in pregame, we talked about, you know, Mavs offense versus this defense. We saw that in the first half. Up 13 now off the bench. Came into the game, 6 of 30 on threes in the last four games as Lucas scores on the post up. He was two Timberwolves players out. Well, we see where that they don't they don't 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 get into that. Man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here's Luca off the glass. It's a one-shot game. Any basket will do that for them. Luca against Anderson. Tough to beat off the dribble. Luca by 11 here in the second half. What's more impressive is they're doing this without Anthony Edwards on the offensive end of the floor. Only three of them. I mean, to both of your points, to Brian's point, they're better rebounding because of Lively, but when he has to go challenge and try to block a shot, that leaves the offensive glass open for the opponent. Has Luca calling with 11 points tonight, looking for two more. A rebound for Luca, down bounding. And right now, they got to find a way to stop Nas Reed, who last December had a 27 point game against Dallas, and he has one tonight. As Offensive foul just called. Getting chippy out here. Lucas already got a tech. The foul is called on Lively here. Timeout called by Dallas. With 5-12 left in the game, and the Timberwolves up by 11. Three points, three-pointer attempts a little harder. I think it's a little bit of both. To the 500 for the remainder of the year, they could go 30 and 12 or 500. And if they won 48 games, it would be the most they've won in a season since 03-04. Rears of Minnesota as this game will end with a final 119-101. Minnesota, they had a six-game winning streak come to an end when they lost to